Well, hello there, YouTubers. February 2021 is Black History Month, and so I was going to do a painting a day for February, although I didn't quite make it. Uh, so it's actually February 2nd when I'm painting this, but I came up with the idea on February 1st. So what I decided to do for my first day of painting this month was to um, pick a photo on Pixabay, which is where this original photo came from. And then I edited the photo online using um, some sort of free software to basically break it into five colors. And then I printed it out. So in my mind, I wanted to paint this photo in um, the colors of Black History Month, which are the red, the green, and the yellow, and black and white. So um, I've got my photo reference, I edited it to be five colors, and then I used graphite paper to transfer it to my watercolor paper, which is just Canson XL 140-pound watercolor paper. So what you see me doing here, and the first thing that I did, is to get masking fluid and mask out all the white areas. And then I'm going to start by grabbing the yellow. I started with lemon yellow, but it was a little bit too bright, so I started toning it down with like a Hansa Yellow Deep. And I just mix the two throughout the painting. And so the first thing that I did, um, utilizing my reference photo, which you saw in the beginning, is to take the lightest areas, lightest gray areas, because the whites have already been masked out with masking fluid. And I started painting those areas in, in the yellow. And kind of in my mind, I thought um, the yellow and red and green plus black would replace the uh, different values that were in the, my reference photo. So here you see I'm going in with um, uh, red and I chose to use Vermilion by M Mission Gold, Magello Mission Gold. And it's just a real pretty um, bright red. And I'm utilizing that in the um, medium gray color and then uh, so after this I'll go into the green but um, I just wanted to let you know that this painting has been sped up it is eight times as fast as the original the original painting including locating a reference photo, digitizing and printing it, and then doing the transfer. Altogether, it was just under an hour. Uh, as you can see from this video, I've condensed it down into eight minutes. And when I put it on my Instagram, I think I'll condense it down to like one minute. It's going to be a speed painting. So you can see here, I'm still coloring in the red. You can kind of see the face starting to take shape. This is a nice technique to use for your own like family members. If you want to do like a real easy portrait is to get a photo and um, edit it in software that breaks it down to, I don't know, three to five colors and then transfer that to your paper and paint in I wouldn't necessarily use these colors, but different values of one color would be really pretty. But I wanted to utilize these colors because everything that I had seen about Black History Month was utilizing these colors. So that's what I wanted to do. So here you can see I'm going in with um, 
I didn't end up going with black. I ended up going with Payne's Gray. It's pretty dark. It hits mass tone. And, um, uh, yes. Painting's starting to come together. And hopefully starting to look like a couple, like my reference photo. And here I'm going back in and deepening up those greens because they weren't deep enough. And then I'm going to go back in with the um, Payne's Gray and start trying to add a little bit more definition to those faces so that you can tell that they're faces. And then I had to let it dry, but I came back to the editing. And here I'm taking the masking tape off. And this is the final result. I did go through with the pen and kind of um, 